Welcome to Coney Island, Brooklyn, New York. And this is an arrival on the New York City MTA subway. You could take the D, the F, the N, or the Q to the last stop. Or if you live here in Brooklyn, it would be your first stop. And we are gonna walk over towards Stillwell and Surf Avenue. But legendary for this area is the Mermaid Parade. And when the mermaids are not on land, you can always visit Mermaid Avenue. We're gonna start in the subway terminal because it's actually part of the story of Coney Island and where you can pick up some really great Coney Island gear. I actually have my Coney Island shirt on right now. And this is a shirt from uh, one of the shops that we're gonna pass on our way as we head towards Luna Park, the home of the Cyclone Roller Coaster. And it is the Wonderland gift shop that I really recommend for your Coney Island tees. Now, they're not going to have the licensed tees if you want to specifically a Wonder Wheel 100th anniversary shirt or a uh, Cyclone Roller Coaster shirt. But if you're looking for Coney Island celebrating Brooklyn, uh, here's, and they're really actually not a bad price, $8.99. And there's uh, another shop there as well. Here's your official entry. There are many iconic images for Coney Island. This is probably one of them. Uh, the other being at the Wonder Wheel uh, entrance where it says Coney and then Island. But here it is, Coney Island. And it's right underneath this globe that lights up at night which at one time was the BMT lines. Let's walk ourselves over towards Stillwell Avenue. This is Surf Avenue on a July afternoon. And we're gonna visit the original Nathans, the one and only Nathans, the Nathans that you can be a part of. This is available on the NASDAQ. So if you wanted to bring some of Coney Island home with you, invest in the wellness of Brooklyn and celebrate the longevity of this iconic hot dog location, you can actually buy shares of Nathan's Hot Dogs, which have five cent Thursdays. And there is your hot dog menu. Now let's walk on over to the beach. There is the subway terminal. Now there is more shopping in this area, which brings you right up to the amusement park and a great place to see the Friday night fireworks, which happen at 9.45 p.m. Since 1916, this is the original world famous Frankfurt since 1960. Now I think the original actually was being sold out of a cart. Um, I don't believe that that was the, uh, like they started that big is what I'm trying to say. Uh, definitely an iconic thing to experience. Coney Island, some more official type stuff where you can get even Nathan's clothing. Yes, you can buy hot dog clothing at Coney Island, which is located on the, uh, in the borough of Brooklyn. You know, an interesting thing about Coney Island is with the amusement park, it's actually amusement parks. You see the cyclone back there. That is a part of Luna Park. And then as we now approach uh, an avenue where we can clearly see Dino's Wonder Wheel, which is celebrating its 100th anniversary. We'll get a good view after we pass the grand opening of some waterside restaurants and here we can see the Wonder Wheel and that is not in Luna Park that is actually Wonder Wheel amusement park and they have uh, a collection of rides that are separate from Luna Park Luna Park one time going under the name Astro Land, which had a space theme attribute. Now here's an iconic image of Coney Island. It is the 
parachute jump, which does not have anyone jumping from it, nor does it have anyone jumping since the 1960s. And it's actually a part of New York history. It's a legendary status, able to be seen for at least 30 miles, but it's part of Queens history. That is from the 1939 World's Fair in Flushing Meadow Park. But it was designed to come to either a New Jersey park or to Coney Island afterwards. So it really was always considered to be a part of this location. But it, don't forget that it is part of New York history and part of Queens. That's where it all started. And now we, we are this close to our Atlantic Ocean Beach. That's how close uh, your subway ride is bringing you to the beach. And if you are visiting New York City and you do not have a car and you're in the Broadway Times Square area, which is something that most people see, do know that this is only 13 miles, one three, 13 miles from the Empire State Building. And you can get here via four different subway lines, the D or the F, Q, for only $2.75. And it takes about a one hour ride to get here. And it's iconic, it's iconic New York. And once you get here, there's no charge to use the beach. You do not have to be a New York City resident. You can walk over to Brighton Beach, have dinner over on Emmons Avenue, listen to the Puerto Rican drummers out on the Steeplechase Pier. There's a lot to do here. And here's a quick view of Regalman Boardwalk. Happy to say I participated uh, in the film Sure Thing uh, by artist Lavari, which was produced here in 2008, right in front of Luna Park, adding to some of the New York history. Friday night fireworks, 9.45 p.m. Friday nights throughout the summer until the beginning of September. Free classic wooden boardwalk. And now let's take a walk over to the beach. One of the great things about here is you can see Queens. So if you're visiting New York and you want to see as much as you can, you can see Queens as that is the tip of the Rockaway Peninsula, Breezy Point. And then it opens up with direct connection to the Atlantic Ocean. And then we see the Atlantic Highlands of New Jersey, Sandy Hook Beach. Gunnison Beach, uh, all sharing the same waterways, which is directly connected to the Atlantic Ocean. And that is a quick view of arriving at Coney Island, Brooklyn, New York, the home of the Mermaid Parade. You see some folks in parade-like attire now, but it is not Mermaid Parade Day, but this is where the mermaids come on land as well as evening dancing on the boardwalk. If you want to see it, come to Coney Island. There's the other nations. Quite an experience within itself, uh, but that is not considered the original nations. Now we're going to walk up to the Wonder Wheel Amusement Park, and they have a brand new roller coaster called the Phoenix. And one of the great things about the uh, Phoenix and Coney Island is for this area, you can walk right up and enter into the amusement park area. Uh, here's some information about the Friday night fireworks. Coney Island Friday night fireworks are back. WWW Coney Island Fun Guide at Coney Island Fun. And now, a new ride. A new ride in Dino's Wonder Wheel. Again, this is one of the amusement park areas. And it really adds to the, uh, I'm celebrating summer when you walk through an amusement park right alongside of the Atlantic Ocean. Now this is a place for family fun since 1920. And here is another iconic image of Coney Island, but this is the, uh, the Coney Island image that is very celebrated because it's as colorful as Coney Island is itself. And it's right underneath the Dino's Wonder Wheel. And if you look, some of the cars, they will just 
swoop to the left or the right based on the way that the wheel is turning. And now as the walkway is slowly beginning, there's a car that's moving. Yeah, so it can be a thrill ride within itself. And now here is the view, Coney Island. And the interesting thing about this location is it's Island Coney. <laughs> Till next time, happy summer from ever beautiful Coney Island, Brooklyn. I love New York. Till next time, keep traveling.